Hello everybody, this is Charles and I'm back with another toy review. This time for Futures EX Goking Gala Robo G Gala Poseidon. Yes, this is the third and the last of the uh, Gala Robo G team. And uh, yes, I'm really excited to bring this review to you. But before that, uh, let me just highlight to you that this uh, Gala uh, Robo G actually comes with get Double G Tomahawk. So it's actually an exclusive item that comes with uh, so called comes. With uh, when you order all three together, or rather, that's what um, sellers online say. But this is actually packed together with Gala Poseidon. So this means that as long as you buy Gala Poseidon, you will get this Gala Robo, uh, this Double G Tomahawk. All right, you do not need to buy all three to get the Gala Tomahawk. The only reason why, uh, if you were to get your Gala uh, Poseidon without this, is probably because the seller has taken it out and just shipped the Gala Poseidon because this is packed together in the carton box of Gala Poseidon so there's no reason for you not to get this unless the seller takes it out uh, which I believe some sellers will do because uh, say for example they claim that you need to buy all three to get this um, and yes, say you only buy Gala Dragon because you like Gala Dragon and you don't want the other two uh, they'll probably just take this out of the Gala Poseidon from whoever buys it and uh, sell it on eBay or whatever which I think is dishonest all right, so I uh, do note that this comes as a freebie together with Gala Poseidon. It doesn't come separate, all right? Okay, so anyway, here is Gala Poseidon. Um, I actually had him in tank mode first because I had to swap the legs uh, for him to go into to his, uh, uh, what should I say, robot, full robot mode. So I'm just going to feature his tank mode first. But before I feature the tank mode, okay, I'm just going to tell you that this guy, uh, this guy comes with uh, screw pack holes, okay? Uh, this this gray gray cover screw covers over here. Okay, it comes with four on each for each leg, so you should get eight. But the problem with this gray portion is that it falls off really really easily. So when I open this out of the bag itself, uh, three of this actually fallen out from uh, both sides, uh, and I I couldn't find all of them. So I for this side I have all one two three four all four of them. Okay, I managed to get all four of them. But for this side I only have two, so I'm missing two. Um, it's not an eyesore to me, I don't really care, it doesn't really bother me because when you put it on display, you, you won't see it. So I may or may not write in to the future to ask them to send me two of this little stuff. So it's really redundant, so it doesn't really bother me, alright? So, uh, any case, um, before I feature, so this is rubber thread, alright? It's really cool, and it really moves on the surface. Let me see if I can show it over here. Okay, it really moves on the surface. A bit tough, but he moves on the surface, so which is cool. Okay, this really moves. And the nice thing about this is that you know this is this portion is mobile. Okay, you, you can actually move this alright in out a little bit. So it's really cool. They say you pose him a little bit, he you can actually adjust this uh ankles accordingly so that you know the threads are touching the ground completely. So which is a nice, nice, nice gesture. Alright. So both sides, okay, sorry. Both sides of the threads are the same so it doesn't matter where you put this over here or this over here it's exactly the same now i'm just going to show you the legs it's exactly the same and similarly for this portion right the t this blue portion here is totally plastic but this bottom the feet the black part okay they are die cast uh, motion wise is quite restricted due to the nature of how it looks like you can move front okay one notch back just very slightly uh, you can move the so-called the back of the feet a little bit um, yeah, I can move sideways one notch. Okay, but that's about how much you can move. But it's because uh, Gator Poseidon is supposed to be a very hefty, uh, hunky robot. So move motion wise, it's not so articulate. All right. <coughs> so yeah. Anyway, these joints over here, these packs are all plastic. So got to be really, really careful when you assemble them. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna disassemble this part first. I'm gonna just take it out. Okay. I'm gonna take it out as close to the joint as possible. Just slowly slowly pull it out okay and there you see as I pull it out um, something dropped off it comes from where let me see it comes from this part no it didn't come from here uh, it didn't come from here oh wow so by chance because I pulled this out I think it got stuck in the thread inside I managed to find the third pin uh, third screw cover over here wow this is little screw cover so I found it I'm just gonna peg it in over here uh, yeah, I'm gonna pack it in here. Will it stay in? No, it's. It doesn't really feel that it doesn't want to stay in properly. You see, it falls off easily. Um, but you know what? I'll probably apply. Maybe, 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 maybe I'll apply a little bit of a 
glue you know, just so that it stays in place inside since I'm unlikely to unscrew this part anyway so yeah no but it really really doesn't stay well over here so which is quite a pain but uh, I'm glad I managed to find it seriously I'm glad I managed to find it so I have one more left which might be stuck somewhere inside uh, if any luck I might find it I'll, I'll do so after the video review wow this is really lucky really wow so I'm just missing one Wait, heck care doesn't matter okay cool so just pull out the other one maybe I'll find the, uh, the last piece over here so let's just pull it slowly okay and there you have it alright so this is Gator Poseidon without his legs lower legs alright so here I'll fall in yeah cool alright so I'll slot it in just align all four pins together okay align all four pins one two three four and just push them in alright similarly for the other side you align all four pins carefully and push it in and there you have get a Poseidon in uh, full robot mode with the normal legs so get a Poseidon really really cool uh, before that let me just show you the get a Poseidon plane this is the heaviest of the lot really really heavy the whole portion is diecast uh, apart from the uh, missiles the whole thing is diecast really really solid and really nice love the look of the plane you know it looks like get a bear oh, I think it's bear yeah whatever so cool so uh, in terms of articulation wise uh, head motion 360 you can move the neck slightly and uh, over here you can review this to see the Gela missiles really really cool this little little missiles really detailed paint uh, gold mini missiles alright if you lift up this portion you can see the, uh, the Gela uh, tornado typhoon sorry typhoon spinning action you can open up this chest portion and uh, open up over here to put the core which I didn't put okay locks in very well in place it might as well seem to open you can see the detail over here the underside is really nice the underside detail is really 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 awesome and uh, arm articulation sideways okay move here and you can move the shoulder pads you can go 90 degrees over here clicky uh, you can actually move this part as well and uh, you can rotate the elbows and he has double double jointed elbows also which is good slightly just raise slightly upwards uh, motion from the uh, upper elbow but uh, good good enough so it's really really cool and it comes with a, a pair of open fists uh, which I, I'm not going to feature over here uh, in terms of his uh, torso you can move back in front okay sideways slightly uh, rotate slightly I'm not going to force it it seems to be very forceful to rotate him uh, sideways so I'm just going to keep it this way in case I, I accidentally break anything uh, legs wise you can move his leg outwards this much uh, backwards very slightly just very slightly backwards so you can see the thigh uh, forward wise um, this much okay cool you can actually rotate at the thigh area as well which is cool and he has a sort of a double jointed knee as well sort of a double jointed knee oops this thing came off never mind uh, let me see if I can move the kneecap ah okay no the kneecap is actually joined together so yeah he has a sort of double jointed knee okay yeah okay cool let me just slot this back in carefully It'll be very very really really careful okay yeah we don't want to break anything by mistake so yes, this is um, get a Poseidon. All right, so cool figure. Uh, I think arguably the heaviest of the three due to the the mass of uh, the body itself. Arguably the biggest, the heaviest of the three. And I'm gonna put him at the side over here. Okay, get a Poseidon. Okay, I'm gonna adjust him over here. I'm gonna take out the get a Liger. All right. Get a Liger, put him over here, and of course, uh, to complete the trio, get a dragon. So this is an extremely cool set, and you look at the three of them together. Uh, technically correct, uh, get a Liger supposed to be the tallest, uh, which is slightly taller than uh, get a dragon, um, but over here it looks more or less the same height for all three. So it's really, really well balanced. This is really amazing and really awesome. You know, I. I totally and in love with these three pieces you know I had to wait for them to come together because uh, where, where I got them from 
I have to stand up together to, to save shipping and, and etc. So I'm really glad that all of them came, you know, despite the fact that uh, I got them late, you know, but it's still a very wonderful surprise to get all three of them at one time. This is really, really awesome. It cost me about close to a um, thousand. 400 US? Yeah, about a thousand, no, a thousand three. Let me just calculate. Yeah, about a thousand three hundred US uh, shipped uh, by EMS. So I'm really happy with it. I'm really happy with this really awesome uh, set of three. And uh, I've got a fine space to display them. This is so awesome because these three are so nice. They do not deserve to be kept in a the box. They need to be displayed, not on display. You know, it shouts display me. So it's really awesome and I, I think uh, Future did a very good job. Uh, for my set, uh, hardly any QC errors, probably just um, like I said, minor pain chip for uh, Gala Dragon over here. Uh, missing one of that screw cover for Gala Poseidon's tank thread, uh, which is not a big deal. Uh, apart from that, it's really all good. So uh, I really love this set and uh, I highly recommend uh, collectors, especially choking lovers to, to, to collect them because they they are really really solid. Easily 70-80% die cast and it's really really heavy. This is what Gold King is all about, alright guys? You know this is what Gold King is about. So here's Charles signing off with yet another toy review. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Do stay tuned to my channel for more reviews next time. And this is Charles saying, Guitar Team Go!